What's up, guys? This is Justin with IGN. I'm here with Patrick Hackett with Double Fine. Um, we're here taking a look at the Leap Motion, um, and a little bit later, you're gonna be showing us Drop Chord, your new game that's running on the Leap. Yep. Um, Patrick, why don't you just go ahead and show us what the heck this is all about, how it works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the uh, uh, this company, Leap Motion, is making the Leap Motion controller, which will be out uh, July 22nd. And what this is is it's stereoscopic cameras for gesture control for your PC or Mac. And you can see that it's it's picking up all of my fingers here, and uh, they've got this the precision on this thing down to you know they say sub millimeter or whatever, um, but you can see that you can you know. And is that write like words is that or write 2D name. space or 3D space? Like, is it does it recognize depth of it's these fingers? Yeah, oh, it's yeah, absolutely it totally full is. 3D. Yeah. That's cool. And it projects about uh, a half meter cube box in front of your uh, monitor, and so they really want it to be you know a keyboard, mouse, and the leap. Right. Um, and so they want it. Not to, you know, take over your mouse or whatever, but to be, you know, the third piece. Yeah, that's awesome. And, like, it's so, um, you know, obviously there's some cool things that you can do with video games, or hopefully there will be, you know, Double Fine's working on some cool stuff, but they have other applications as well. Um, but it seems to me, you know, we were talking before we started recording that this makes a tremendous amount of sense for games. Um, it's not quite like a mouse. It's not quite like a touch screen. Like, it's kind of something new. Sure, sure, yeah. Yeah, it, it feels to me, just as a game developer, is like, you know, the, uh, the, the evolution from motion control. Um, and they absolutely are not selling it as a game device. It's, yeah. It's definitely like a pc device i mean i'm impressed like we were just sort of poking around this uh you know sort of tron looking like just little screen and when it picked up my fingers for that first time like we didn't have to really do anything i'm like that's i'm yeah i'm already impressed maybe i'm just very easily impressed but yeah I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah okay so uh now that you have a feel for for what that thing is doing we'll jump into jump into drop cord drop cord and drop cord is something that you prototyped first on uh, on mobile devices on touchscreen, and then you sort of moved to Leap after that and sort of saw that there was a lot of opportunity here to use this device? Yeah, exactly. We have a uh, we had a three-game deal with um, one of our angel investors, Steve Dangler, mm -hmm. and we did middle manager of justice um, right. for the first game. And the second game, we were prototyping new ideas, um, and uh, I was doing those all, you know, on my phone uh -huh. um, because it was supposed to be a mobile game, but... Then we get in touch with uh, the Leap guys, and they gave us some dev kits, and we quickly ported this over, um, and they loved it. And so we ended up, you know, moving forward with the Leap version. So that's awesome. I don't really know too much about Drop Chord. Um, I'm assuming this is sort of a music. I, the name is Drop Chord, so that sure, sort of gives yeah. me some hints about what kind of game we're looking at here, right? Yeah. So um, we're calling it uh, a music-based score attack game. Okay. But the the difficulty is, you say music game, and people think rhythm. That's uh, true. There's actually nothing to do with rhythm in it. It's okay. more it's more like you can think of it as sound shapes where the visuals and the yeah. audio are really tied together. Um, awesome. And this is this is one of the uh, one of the caveats of of developing for a brand new device, especially something like motion control. We have to explain, you know, the the controller as well as the game. And so in the, this this initial point it, it kind of is um, you know, convincing you, showing you where to put your fingers, okay. where so to like kind of explaining the boundaries of the game. Yeah, it's like half tutorial and maybe like half calibration to make sure. Like if something were too super screwed up, like you wouldn't even be able to get to the menu. So exactly. Um, yeah. You yep. know, so people wouldn't be, oh, it's not working. Oh, it's not working right. So then you sort of put your fingers in there, and then it sort of gives you a, an idea of where you were at. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And it, it's one of those problems with uh, with these motion control devices where um, when you first play it, you don't know where the boundaries are. Right. And then. Um, you know, after you use it for a while, like it becomes extremely intuitive, and you kind of figure those out. But, but initially, um, yeah, I hear you. And, and this so, is something that Double Fine has experience with with Connect. You know, you sort of taught people how to. You need to get young children using Connect, sure. and yeah. so, um, you know, how far away can they be? How close can they be? You know, you understand how to get people acclimated into an experience yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah. And after you use it for a little bit, you know, it becomes kind of second nature. But initially, yeah. uh, you kind of want to define those. And so this is our uh, little abstract main menu here. This is kind of the play section, you know, options, mm -hmm. exit. And so um, this also is explaining kind of what the game is. You're controlling this chord, uh -huh. you know, uh, on this ring. And then we're going to jump into this game. And, uh, you know, you start hitting these things. And, and so what the game is, is it will throw these patterns at you mm -hmm. and you're supposed to hit these notes and then you'll see here in two seconds um that's a scratch right so don't hit the one that says avoid avoid that guy uh -huh. right um and so okay so i see so you need to start eventually like sort of twisting your fingers around exactly to, yep. to hit the things you need to hit and miss the things that or skip the things you don't need to yep. hit 
And so then these guys will start moving around on you. Gotcha. Um, and what I'm doing here is the track in the background is looping, um, and we're completing these patterns. And once we complete enough of them, uh, the track will switch to like this, this build-up phase. And is build this all original music? It is. Okay. Yeah. Um, this build-up phase, you know, like the game gets faster, and uh, and the visuals kind of build up, and then music builds, and then once it gets to this, there we go. then it switches to uh, switches to kind of this bonus stage, and so this is this is kind of like the mapping of of the levels. You know, we really wanted to tie the uh, kind of the patterns that a DJ will use for electronic music to the progression of the levels. So who's writing the club music at Double Fine? Right. We. No, uh, that's, I'm seriously asking you. Who's, yeah, who do no. we have to thank? For so these? we we had a. Uh, uh, Brian Min's our audio director, and he contracted out a okay. bunch of a that's bunch awesome. of audio. Um, and this, so did that pause when you moved your hand? It away? did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's cool too. Yeah. So, um, in this next section. Oh, so uh, they're not all the same. Like this is a different little. Uh, yeah. Uh, not yeah. mini game. I don't know what you would call it, but uh, a little bit different experience here. Yep. Yep. So um, this one just kind of, it's uh, it's exploring. You know, like how much you can do with the leap. Uh -huh. And so if I. T like push back and forth with uh, my hands, so I'm moving along like the uh -huh. z-axis. Sure. I'm actually shifting the world. Right. And it's pushing the audio. Notice it's pushed oh, all yeah. the way to the right, right there. I mean, I noticed you know, now. Yeah. Pushed all the way to the left. Um, and then the numbers are, you know, the amount of fingers I need to put in that circle. For, oh, okay. I see. I see. Yeah. Um, getting a little bit of jitter because of that guy down there. And is this uh? So obviously this is something that's meant to be maybe not obviously but it's like you're playing on your own here like if you had a couple different people you said the leap supposedly can you know pick up a lot of fingers right although really like you get up to about 10 and then that's that's really the limit of how many fingers you can throw in there mm -hmm. like what if what if you had two people that wanted to like sort of throw in and try to do this at once like what would happen I think it would support it honestly it's been brought up and we've never tried it sure do you want to try it oh my god I don't know <laughs> let's do it live I'm gonna give it a shot. Is this? Yeah, so it totally works. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Yeah. So you're controlling the one on the right. Oh. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> yeah. So you can make it almost like a little co-op deal. Yeah. So this one, uh, introducing a new mechanic. These we have to hold on as opposed to just tap. Okay. So we gotta. That's actually really funny. I mean, I guess there would be no way for you, from like a design perspective, to like force people to do it co-op. There'd right. be no way for yeah. you to know, but. Yeah. It would just be like honor system, right? But well, yeah, it's like that uh, the iPad game Fingle, right? You know, <laughs> it's like, like you could play that by yourself, I guess, but uh, defeats the whole purpose. Uh, oh, I lost our multiplier. That was my <laughs> fault. I'm gonna let you take that over. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so the game, you know, continues this pattern, brings in new mechanics, gets more difficult, uh, um, brings in new music, ties the visuals to the music, and. So we saw um, sort of the deal where you're trying to get as many of your or the right number of fingers in the circle, and then we saw this where you keep your fingers on the outside of the circle and control the cord. I guess you mm -hmm. call it. I mean, are those really the two main systems? Those are the two. Yeah. Okay. There's uh, later in um, in the levels, you get the ability to to spin the beam. Okay. And so then spinning the beam will pick up uh, a different type of bit. You know. Sure. Um, and so yep, it's just kind of uh, kind of this puzzle game that that. Puzzle plays action, along, yeah, music. plays along to the music. And so, does it go until like, is there a failure state, or are you trying to get as high a score as you can? Like, yeah. So there's actually two modes. This is the, uh, um, that was that was kind of like our our story levels. You know, like you go through the set um, set number of levels, uh -huh. and then there's a there's like a, it's finite. You know, there's right. an end to it. Um, and each level is sort of its own little musical ebb and flow. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then after after your first playthrough, it actually unlocks like a we're calling it the full mix mode because instead of playing the music as the, like these chopped up versions, it's mm -hmm. actually playing the music all the way through like the original artist mm -hmm. you know wrote the song. Um, but it's also the uh, it's an endless mode. You know, it's it's like the true score attack. It just goes gets more difficult, gets faster until you actually until you lose. Awesome. This yeah. looks really cool. Um, so this is coming to Leap uh, like day one, right? Um, yeah, yeah. It'll definitely be a, a launch title on their um, 
on their app store. So Leap Owners, if you have one pre-ordered, you'll be able to pick up Drop Cord on, it was July... Um, July 22nd. July 22nd, and uh, on the Leap Store, their sort of own app store that they're going to have. Yep, it's called Airspace. Airspace. And it's it's the type of thing that uh, as soon as you plug in your Leap, it'll be the first thing that shows up. Right. So you can't miss it. And how much is it going to cost? The Leap is uh, $80, but Drop Cord's going to be $3, $2.99. Awesome. And uh, and a little bit after that Leap version comes, uh, you know, iPad or iOS gamers will be able to get their hands on this as well. Yep, hopefully. For sure. Cool. For sure. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for the demo. Um, you know, if you do have a Leap, make sure you're checking out Dropcord. Remember that for all the sort of hottest, strangest experimental games, you can keep it locked to IGN.